Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you had a great day of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about a stock that has been rising this past year. That company is CrowdStrike. As you can see, price is $206 per share. Today up almost 10%, after hours up 1.44%. Past year up 309.67%. Past five years, up 507%. So a very high growth stock and a lot of opportunity for growth in the long term. And currently, I have a position that is 0.88% portfolio or $2,893. I'm up 41% on this position. Uh, average price of $146 per share. Scrolling down a bit, you can see market cap is $45 billion. Doesn't have a PE ratio, which means they're not profitable yet. And dividend yield is zero, which means they're reinvesting all profits back into growth. And a lot of the, the cyber technology, um, cybersecurity stocks rose today just because there's been an increase in cyber attacks. And as everything becomes online and digital, there's going to be an increasing demand for cybersecurity stocks. So as you can hear, you can see here, SolarWinds hack. It affected a lot of the um, the U.S. Um, companies and government, so definitely high demand for cyber security stocks. Analysts say 72% give it a buy rating, um, and there's a lot of opportunity for growth. And as you can see, earnings per share um, for Q3, it beat the earnings per share, so expected was uh, or actual was higher than expected scrolling down a bit you could see that crowdstrike is a holding company that engages in the provision of cloud delivery solution for next gen endpoint protection that offers cloud modules of its falcon platform through software as a service subscription based model so their uh, revenue model is through subscriptions for this cloud uh, security uh, solution and taking a look at the actual uh, corporate overview you can see that their mission is to stop breaches and they're trying to define this cloud uh, this cloud platform category so you can see Salesforce is in CRM cloud uh, service now which um, I've used before is in service management clouds from change management to incident management uh, service now is one of the leaders in the space, HR Cloud, Workday, uh, and this this company, CrowdStrike, is Security Cloud. And it was started in 2011. And you can see that CrowdStrike at a glance, it's one of the first cloud native software as a service endpoint security platform. And it's been very solid in terms of their financial profile. Uh, 907 million annual recurring revenue. That's uh, pretty impressive. 90% uh, subscription revenue, 8,416 subscription customers, 81% um, year-over-year growth, 87% revenue year-over-year growth, and 61% subscriptions, customers with four-plus modules. So a lot of the customers, majority of the customers, uh, use more than one of their modules. So overall, the problem is there's other security products that are expensive, complex, and ineffective. Uh, but Crowd, CrowdStrike provides a platform that's, um, that's uh, on-prem inflexibility, uh, agent bloat, sorry. They provide a solution that is not uh, costly because it's on-prem uh, flexible. They don't have bloat and they don't miss any new attacks. So pretty comprehensive solution. Um, and the cloud native platform elements include cloud modules, single agent, uh, single intelligent agent, and proprietary distributed threat graph. A lot of this is just jargon. I'm gonna skip past this. I care more about their actual numbers and performance. Scrolling down a bit, cloud AI. So why cloud native is better? It's data access, data analysis, um, constant production, continuous learning, and collect once or few reuse many. So the fact that's reusable, it's good. And you can see overall in the industry, 49 of the Fortune 100 use them, 
11 of the top 20 banks, 40 of the top global 100 companies. And this is as of January 31st, 2020. And it's already end of year, December 2020. So hopefully they capture more of the market share in those top companies. Low friction go to markets. So they have different ways to get the product in a company's hands from field sales to large enterprise, inside sales, strategic verticalization, and global commercial coverage. Here's some testimonies. And you can see the growth strategy um, from 2021 to 2023. Uh, Two-year uh, plan to have a CAGR of 9%. Cloud IT spend. So you can see that it's going to double from 2020 to 2023. So hopefully CrowdStrike benefits from that. And you can see uh, worldwide hybrid cloud security revenue estimates. 1.2 billion to 2 billion, so that's almost double. Scrolling down a bit. Cloud IT spend, you can see it's continuing to increase. Scroll down, scroll down. All right, financial overview, you can see how 80%, 81% ARR year over year growth. Very steady ever since 2018, quarter over quarter, very steady growth. Revenue growth, it's very strong as well. And very strong customer retention, which is great to hear. You want to hear the customers continue to be repeat customers and they expand in their customer base. Um, you can see over time, it's always over that 120% benchmark. It's going down a bit. Power of the platform. So you can see a lot of the customers use multiple modules, four or more. Five or more is 44%, six or more is 22%. So a lot of them use multiple platforms, modules. Uh, rule of 40, 94%, magic number 1.4. Then they're trying to improve their gross margins. Currently they're not profitable, but uh, as they increase their margins, they will be profitable over time. And improving operating leverage. So you can see that a lot of this is negative, but as we go forward and they continue to acquire more customers, increase their revenue, they'll eventually be more profitable. So target percent of revenue, um, you can see subscription boats gross margin, hopefully it's 80 plus percent, uh, SNM 30 to 35%, R&D research development 15 to 20%, um, operating margin 20 plus percent, Take a look at the actual financials, CrowdStrike details. You can see over year, year over year, their revenue has been increasing, but their earnings have been negative, so it's not profitable. Quarterly, you can see also very steadily increasing, but still not profitable. Uh, analyst recommendation is a buy. Average price target is uh, 183 versus current is 203 per share. So the current price is above average analyst rating. Take a look at the key stats. You can see that the market cap is $45 billion. Uh, P ratio is not available. They're not profitable. Ford price earnings is 582, so it's very expensive. But I think it's a premium worth paying for for this kind of high flying growth stock. Scrolling down a bit, uh, you can see their 52 week change up 274% relative to the, the market 15%. Scroll down, average, um, the number held by institutions, 0.8%, oh sorry, 71%. And then scrolling down more, you could see that dividend yield, they're reinvesting all profits into growth. So they don't pay a dividend yield for being a shareholder, but I think they're investing in the right areas in their company, R&D, um, continue to improve the product and continue to scale uh, their customer base. So very high flying growth stock that I don't think they need to pay a dividend yield. They just reinvest back into the company and you can uh, see the return on investment. Uh, and also you can see profit margin. It's not profitable. Operating margin, also not profitable. Um, it's negative. Return on assets, negative. Return on equity, also negative. Revenue is 760 million. Uh, quarterly revenue growth is 80%. EBITDA, which is earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization is negative net income is negative um total cash is 1 billion total debt is 42 million 
that's equity, so it's 5.24. For every uh, dollar equity they have, they have $5 in debt. And then operating cash flow is 380, uh, 308 million, and lever free cash flow is 305 million. So overall, they don't, um, they're a growth stock, and I might increase this position uh, in the long run just because I think uh, as the trend is increasing towards uh, companies are spending more on security, and as things become more online and digital, moving towards cloud, CrowdStrike will benefit from this uh, because their product is strong, and a lot of the there's like great retention, and a lot of those customers are using multiple modules and becoming more sticky in using their product. And going back to the the price, I think it's a little pricey, but I think it's justified uh, because in the long run, this will be a solid hold in the long run. Uh, that's all for this video. What are your thoughts on CrowdStrike? Comment down below. Remember to use my referral links below and both of us get $20 for using personal capital or a free stock for using Robinhood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.